Hi guys, welcome to this video. This is my garage shop and today I will build a new Novec demonstration rig. Here are some parts that I have already bought for this project. Uh, I do have a general idea of what I want to do and have had it for some time. So basically I'm going to use this um, glass base or tank to submerge uh, a motherboard, this one. And uh, of course I'm going to have Novec in this tank and then um, to you know, cool the Novec down so it condenses back into the tank. I'm um, just as before, I'm going to use a uh, water cooling system so I'm gonna build a gener uh, radiator in the top of that tank and then lead off uh, the uh, excess heat that I get from that water with pipes uh, onto uh, outside uh, radiator uh, this radiator I was planning on putting in a um, Sado building that looks like a home or an office where you actually need the heat that is being generated by the Novec tank. And then of course I have a pump to pump the whole water around in this system. So yeah, that's the general idea. This is the board that I need to constrict my demonstration rig uh, on top of. Uh, it's not very big, it's 58 by 58 centimeters. So it's gonna be quite a small demo. Um, it also has a sign here on the front. This particular sign is not the correct one, it's just a stand-in. Uh, but there will be another sign on here with the same dimensions uh, that will talk a little about what you see in this uh, demonstration rig. So in practice I might have 58 width and maybe 43 centimeter depth to, to work with. So let's see what we can do. Now when choosing the uh, tank for this project, it is uh, very good to go with something that has as few natural openings as possible. Because if it has an opening, it means that you need to have that sealed yourself somehow to prevent the Novec gas from leaking out. Now I found a vase to be very good for this because it has a solid bottom already together with the walls. So the only thing that I have to worry about when making this demo is to seal off one side of it only. So instead of two sides that can actually start to leak noise gas, uh, I just have to focus on this. Okay, so the first thing I do need to do is to create such a seal. Uh, I have this open top, I need to, to seal it, I need to make sure that no noise gas can escape from it. Uh, but at the same time, I need to choose a material that I am comfortable to work with and that is easy to work with. Because on top here, I also need to create holes for getting the water cooling out or the water cooling system in. And also for all the cabling that is not supposed to stay in here, like power and stuff, to power everything. So, I'm thinking about choosing MDF. It's still a wood, but it's a compact wood. So hopefully the issue with leaking gas will not be major. Um, only time will tell, I guess. So I'm gonna stick with the uh, MDF material for now and see, you know, where it leads us. Okay, so the first order of business is to, uh, to cut this uh, lid out from MDF. And I do have a board here that I can use. This is, looks like a 16 millimeter or so board. So I'm taking my tank. You know, to see how much I need to cut out. Uh, I'm gonna leave quite some space around it because I have some ideas about the design that uh, could really be incorporated into the frame around it. Uh, so I would like to you know, be sure rather than unsure and leave a little extra that I can cut away later in case I don't need it. 
but for now I will assume that I will need it so let's leave about three centimeters or so on, on every side uh, this tank is 19 centimeters wide so 19 plus 3 plus 3 that makes 25 so I need to make a lid here that is 25 wide uh, I'm actually going to at the same time create two of these because uh, I might want to have an extra for the bottom to make it look even prettier so I might as well do that at the same time if I don't need it later I don't need it but if I do need it it's nice to have it already done so let's start with that okay now I don't have a proper tool to make a circle here so I'll have to build one. Now I know that my circle needs to be 25 centimeters in diameter, which means half of that is the radius. So what I can do, I can do a temporary, you know, thing to just move around as a point on top of it to make it 25. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill into this piece of plastic, just one hole and at 12 and a half centimeters away from it I'm gonna drill the next hole this doesn't have to be perfect now you can take a screw just put it in there like so and another screw into the other hole like so and then I just need to do a guiding hole into the board here so let's see this is good there's proper yep. very very small very very quick now I just take this and I do this just scratch perfect circle into this using this one into the guiding hole here now I don't know if you can see this on camera but I can see a very very nice circle going around here and if I measure this it should be about 25 centimeters it's a little more but that doesn't matter because you know it will probably be sanded down eventually so that's one and I need to do a second one as well so let's do that at the same time so about there I can put it so I'll make a new guiding hole just very very not deep just so this has some traction and now I do another circle here there Perfect. Uh, the next step is to cut these two out. out circles uh, this was quite dusty <laughs> uh, 
and I really need to learn how to use uh, hearing protection. Uh, you can feel it in my ears. That machine is so loud. Anyway, that's that's uh, that's a tip for you guys. Use hearing protection. So as you can see, these are not uh, perfect, but I will try to solve that uh, since I did have a little margin on this uh, when I uh, measured it after the cut. I believe there are still a little more than 25. Yeah, like 25 and a half. So I have plenty of places or space to work with to even it out. So I'll try to do that now. Um, unfortunately, I don't have uh, one of those that you just put it into and which spins and you can just cut it off. So I'll have to invent something that does that for me. Uh, I'm just gonna drill this hole and then we'll see uh, what I can do with that. Let's just do that immediately. There. Now I'm thinking if I should just somehow attach a power tool, you know, like this, so it can spin. Uh, a threaded bolt, a, th a threaded pin, and some nuts, just keep it in place and put the threaded pin into a uh, drill machine or something like that. And then just go around it at the edges uh, with uh, something that can carve out the excess material here, so they become nice. All right, let's do that. Okay, so I found something better than a threaded rod. I found a long enough bolt, so I'll use that instead. Now I first just need to drill a hole big enough for this in here. Might as well do this other one at the same time. Later, I just need to tighten this a couple of wrenches we we'll don't get that okay then just one more just to lock it a little like so now Of this. It's not exactly in the center, but I think this will do. a lot smoother already and as I said before uh, it doesn't need to be perfect just you know so it doesn't look terribly like shit so yeah I'm gonna be happy with that result